Hello everyone, in this video we will be covering division using Vedic mathematics. So let me first start off with a simple example. How about 12? Oh, sorry. 12 divided by 9. Well, the normal method is obviously quite simple. We would just get something like this, where this would be our quotient and this would be our remainder. But Vedic Maths um, does something else, and it approaches the question like this. So we have we have we usually keep the number here, and we have the nine like that. So if it's twelve divided by nine, this is how it'd be set up, where the divisor would be like this, and the dividend would have be like this. The next step is to split the dividend. If, since there's only one digit here, there's only one digit. We split this so that there's only one digit one digit on the right on the right hand side so then what we do is let me write this again clearly um the next thing is we do since we have only one digit nine and if we have only um if the dividend is only two digits what we usually do is our, rem uh, our quotient is usually the same as the first digit on the left hand side. So this would usually be our quotient. So we would just simply bring that down here. And before we get a remainder, which will be on this side, the quotient, the quotient is on the left hand side, is on the left hand, left hand side and the remainder is on the right hand side. So before we get a remainder, what we have to do is we have to, um, we have to take this one and add it to whatever value is over here, right underneath this digit. Whatever value is underneath the, this digit, we have to find the sum of those two numbers. But since there's no value, we assume that this is 0, and we do 1 plus 0 is equal to 0, and over here we would write 1. So then we would get 1, one plus 0 down here, which we would get 1 as our quotient, and then 2 plus 1, which we would get 3. So our answer would be 1 as our quotient and 3 as our remainder as seen here let me quickly show you guys with another example how this is done if we take 52 divided by 9 keeping the divisor the same then as we did before we mechanically take down the quotient here uh, sorry the left hand side digit here because as we found out before, it's the same as the quotient. So then we get 5 here. And 5 plus 0, because there's no value here, would give us 5. So then we would get our quotient as 5 and a remainder of 7. And keep in mind that we have to split we have to split this to get our quotient and get our remainder. Now, let me move on to the, so, um, dividends that have 3 digits. So, for example, let me just erase all this. Um, for example, one one three. Now, in one one three, what we have to do is we first split this, keeping the right hand side only one digit. And over here, um, we can't we can't mechanically take down the this as our quotient but what we can do is take take this um this this digit in the middle down here and we get we get this as one now if this if the middle digit was two then we take it down as two oh i'm sorry that's not what it's done um sorry let me look at this again we take this left hand digit and we put it here so if that was two then we put then then we put two here if that was three then we put three so since our dividend is one one three we put one here and as we saw before to to get um to get the remainder we have to we have to add this and this value but to get the value in the box we have to get we have to add this middle digit plus this digit and we get two so after that, we just simply add everything. So 5 
and we split it and 12 so quite simply we get our answer 12 as a quotient and 5 as a remainder um okay let's look at another one 211 divided by 9 so let me just write this neater so we take the 2 here in the middle then we add 1 plus 2 which we get 3 then we add the whole thing we get 4 20 3 so we got our quotient and we got a remainder now this works excellently with the divisor 9 as you can see here now I'll move on to questions that have greater divisors divisors that are more than one digit so the first example that I want to look at is 111 divided by 73 sorry let me just write this 111 divided by 73 so the first thing we do here is we split this depending on the number of the split the dividend depending on the number of digits we have here so we have two digits here therefore we split this like that with two digits on the right hand side so let me write this again we would get something like looks like this and here what we have to do is we have to use this formula that means the f the first one from 10 and the rest from 9 so what this basically means is we do we we do 10 minus the first digit on the uh, on the right hand side and then for the rest of the digits on the left hand side we do 9 so then this would give us something like 27 because we have to you, we have to minus them keep that in mind always remember we have to minus it so what we do then we have this number 27 now what do we do with 27 let me just write it up here what do we do with 27 well the the divisor is now has two parts where we have we we make it we put the setup like 73 and 27 like this but do not get confused this line is not division it's just to show it's just to split the 73 and 27 so we have 111 now what we do here is we take this 27 number and we put it on the right hand side and once we do that we could quite simply add it up as we did with the other ones and we get our answer 1 as our quotient and 38 as our remainder it's very simple reviewing all the steps the first thing we do we split this depending on the number of digits we have then we use the formula 10 and 9 we do 10 minus 3 which is 7 uh, 9 minus 7 which is 2 we put this number 27 here and then we add it and we get our answer now I'm gonna do it with one more thing and then you can you guys can try try it out at home when I give you some more examples so how about we try the question a question that has three digits in their divisor so 1234 divided by 888 okay here we have three digits as our divisor so then we divide this we divide this so the right hand side is three then we use the formula um, 10 and the rest from 9 so 10 minus 8 9 minus 8 9 minus 8 we get 1 1 2 um we simply put this 1 1 2 here 1 1 2 and then we add it up so 1 3 4 6 um we get this as a quotient and this as a remainder now this works very well when the quotient is only one but it's still a very efficient method when you have problems like this now let me try it on one more thing um this time i'll look at something that's a little bit harder so this one's going to be a little bit hard guys so try following so i'm going to take the dividend one million 
um, 10,101. And then our divisor is going to be 899,997. So here, what we do is, we do the same thing. Split this with however many digits there are. So there are six. Right hand side, we have six. We have 10 minus 7, 9, 9, 9, 9, and 9 on this one too. We get, make, just remember this is minus, so you get 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 3. Then we take, the, we take this number and we put it here. And just like the other problems, we get our answer. Very easy and simply. This is a quotient. Oh, sorry, that's a little bit messy. Quotient and remainder. Um, this concludes the presentation of division with Vedic maths. And please remember that this works um, very well with only um, questions that I've shown you before, like this. Um, just so you guys have a little bit more practice, try out this question and this question as well um and please make sure that you ha you do have to convert it in the form that i showed you how like this and then solve it thank you for watching this video in the next video i'll be covering how to do cubes with vidic mats thank you bye